hope you're here to convince me that all this is quite necessary. I'm here to tell you that the job's been done. Nothing else could have brought us to the same results. But better? You work on a higher plane than we do, Brain. That doesn't mean that we're going to try to rise to your occasions. We work to our own methods. Oh. Oh, this is... You want me to flay away any flesh still present, so to speak? The job is not done yet, Brain. Yes, yes. That is the case, isn't it? Well, just pay attention to what you're transporting. I mean, if you plan on wrapping that body in plastic, the burnt areas of the flesh will stick to it. The agitation of movement may cause further ruptures. The plastic will become oversaturated if the body opens. The problem with the trunk is that you will have to lift it. If you just leave it in the back seat, all you'll have to do is slide it out. Do you have any information for the mouth? Yes. The first rogue in this ladder. Hello, Mrs. Dale. Where's your husband? Out with another female client. You have no idea what you're doing here, but I will say that there are some friends of mine who are expecting me shortly. Sweetie, you're planning on going to bed in less than an hour. Look at you. Your makeup's off, your hair's up, but it's not clipped. It's tied. And you've been wearing your work clothes for the past hour. You're not planning on seeing anyone but me, miss. That's it. Now where is Mr. Dale? You want me to tell you where my husband is? And why? You don't seem quite yourself. I never liked you to begin with, and now you have this newfound arrogance. Mrs. Dale, don't doubt the deeds you've heard from the other housewives. But don't misattribute them either. Mr. Dale is perfectly safe, given cooperation, as are you. My word is where the paranoid finds solace. Trust me. I don't want any trouble for me or my husband. What do you want? And don't protect the mister. Neither of us care for him. He's like taking fancy to a particular leaf in a maple tree. But he's still a man. Still just a person, and you can't hurt someone else. He's a no one. But he does know things. That's it. No one's gonna get hurt. Mr. and Mrs. Dale, together at last. I have need to locate a man. Do you know who I mean? You leave her out! She has no knowledge of any of this! Leave the room! I need to find that man, Mr. Dale. Need I remind you of the brother you have hidden in the Witness Protection Agency? I can find him. With my wits, I cheat the wits of others. And Steele's steely resolve will whittle the remains. The man at the far end of your table. I need him. Just him. The rest of you can resume what you're doing. Unless, of course, in the future I'm assigned to you, too. Red left Cleveland on ah. the 8th day of July. She said this town could burn for all I care. Drove like hell until the smoke filled the sky. Goddamn car won't get me anywhere. Yeah, you got me in pieces, baby. Where's that? Let me talk to them. Oh, be uptown then over charge. charge. 